This is my third video on Arcane in a few days. Am I milking it? Absolutely. Why? Well, because I put out a Die Hard film and it didn't do near as well. So kids only like things that are new, I guess. But I'm not new. So why are they watching me? All along it was a fever. A cold sweat, hot headed believer. I threw my hands in the air, said, show me something. He said, if you dare, come a little closer. Full disclosure, this is the last Arcane video I'm gonna do for a long time. Until season two has some sort of relevancy. Uh, and I don't think it comes out till 2024. So hell, none of us might even be here by then. <laughs> Why is this video so dark? The reason for this video is simple. When I reviewed Arcane Season 1, I made a glaring omission. I forgot to mention my favorite aspect of the damn show. Something that's not little. Something that's not just a side piece. How do you make a 10 minute video on Arcane and not even once reference one of the punches or kicks or shots fired or explosions? I don't know. I've been doing this for a long time too, so I guess it makes sense I don't put up the numbers some of these big critics do. <laughs> <laughs> Not really sure how to feel well, about it. Something in the way you move makes me feel like I can't live without you. It takes me all the way. I want you to stay. I want you to stay. <laughs> Let's begin. What, if, what are we doing here today? Okay, let's focus. Ford. It's a car, it's a car brand. What a weird reference. Arcane has some of the best kick-ass action I've seen in an animated show since forever. The last time I saw fighting and spectacle to this level was when I was watching the previously on Dragon Ball Z and saw all the cool stuff happening. Of course, the episode I ended up watching of Dragon Ball was just them powering up for 30 minutes and no actual fighting. Maybe I should have just actually watched the show all the way through in order. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. A lot of mistakes. All along it was a feat. The writers, storyboard artists, and animators clearly watched my brother and I have fake battles when we were younger because they nailed it. Even down to the mechanical arms that Vander and Vi would end up rocking, you can't have an awesome fight without some ridiculous armor powering up, charging, things moving, changing, instrumentation working, and then they cock their own arms. There's like flames and shit coming out. And then the uppercuts are always just phenomenal. The impact, the explosive light, the distance shot where you see the silhouettes or just the sparks and impact of the punch illuminating everything around it. Oh, it's so fucking good. Mm. Whenever Vi's doing her thing, the action has like a Rocky Balboa style. She's down, she's brooding, she's throwing punches and deking. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. There is no shortage of jump punches in this. There's gotta be a dozen of them and they're epic every time. Usually sends the receiver careening into the ground, sometimes through a wall. And then we certainly can't forget about Jinx and her cool stylistic approach to fighting. By the way, she's voiced by Ella Purnell. That name might not ring a bell. How about Kate from Army of the Dead? One of the most unlikable good guy characters I've seen in a film in quite a long time. She redeemed herself with the voice work here. And I remember when I watched Army of the Dead thinking, man, this actress is really pretty and I bet she's actually an amazing actress, she just needs better material. Well, Arcane proved me right. Jinx is swift, she's quick on her feet. She's got a little bit of that Ty Lee in her, a little bit of that Avatar The Last Airbender gymnastics in her. She's jumping around, flipping around, speed hooking bombs to people. 
some of her one-on-one -on -one battles are just superb. Earlier in the season, when she's still known as Powder Only, she's a damn fine marksman. They bring up that little homemade game, and she pulls out the gun, she's like... <laughs> she's John Wicking the shit out of all those things. <laughs> she's shooting up, <laughs> things are spinning. <laughs> So I assumed once Silco took her under her wing and would show her how to utilize her skills, her full potential, we'd see her with handguns or a sniper or something a little bit more accurate. Something that she could really put her eye to. No, she has a giant Gatlin gun she uses. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the gun's very cool. I just, that, that scene just made me think she'd get handguns or something with a little bit more pinpoint accuracy. Not all the action's just shooting and punching and kicking. We also have parkour in this thing. Not just once either, we get multiple instances of it and it even has that mirror's edge vibe to it where it goes into the first person mode with the running, going up the walls, jumping down on things, sliding, grinding. It, it, I mean, it's just perfect. It really is. Lest we forget about the horror element of the film, the shimmer. You pump that shit in you, you get a little bit of Abomination Hulk action going on, you roid up you go super fast you can rip limbs off like it's nothing i would do my impression of that but i don't think the world's ready for it i don't think the internet could handle it honestly it's uh it's experimental it's risque and quite frankly it would rock your world in ways you're not prepared for the one-on-one -on -one fights in this thing are so good. And once again, it reminded me of Rocky. It had that visceral impact to it. All the punches getting hit, the blows, you could feel them. Vi versus Savika is one of my favorites. I love a good bar fight. You got the music going, you got everybody revved up. This was a confrontation in the making. I loved it. Vi finally getting to team up with her sister for just a little bit against the firelights. Another portion that I just ate up. Just, just, yum, 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 yum. It's good stuff. Jinx also goes up against Echo on the bridge in a phenomenal sequence. Plus then there's Vander going full blown Wolverine as he gets his hands back on. You have to understand, for a person like myself, who loves action movies more than any other genre, to not bring it up in my arcane review. I, I just, I don't know what the hell I was thinking and the, the review suffers for it. I suffered for it. But here we are, making amends. Making up for the time lost. I just hope it's not too late. I, I hope it's enough. Hope it's enough for people. All along. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like listening to a man with clearly no shame at all, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you didn't already. I have tons of content here with more coming out every single week. Movie reviews, rants, feuds, rankings, and just whatever this was. Singing, action, no dancing this time, but we'll get there. We'll get there.